Okay, let's look at another scenario for fertilizer calculations. And this sometimes happens. And I'm only going to do a little bit here. We're going to work it, and we'll probably do some more of these as we get into irrigation and we talk more about fertilizer injectors that we'll learn about. But a fertilizer injector is simply a device that dilutes a solution. So you'll have a stock tank of a fertilizer solution that is highly concentrated. And the injector, call that our injector, will take one part of the concentrated fertilizer solution and add some number of parts of water to it to dilute it to create your final fertilizer solution. So this is concentrated. So for example, when we say something is a 1 to 100 injector, or it's your injecting at a 1 to 100 ratio. We mean this injector is taking one part of this fertilizer concentration and adding it to water to produce 100 parts of final fertilizer solution. So it takes one liter, for example, of the concentrate and turns it into 100, that's 99 parts water, for example, it turns it into 100 parts of the final fertilizer solution. So let's say that I have a 1,000 liter stock tank, and I'm doing a 1 to 100 injection. Every liter gets increased when it's diluted to make 100 liters a final. So when we do our fertilizer calculations, what we're, we're, we're putting a certain amount of fertilizer in here, but we're needing it to make it much more concentrated so that when it gets diluted, it comes out what we want. When we've been doing previous calculations, and I told you a thousand liters, a hundred liters, well, we weren't using an injector on that. We were making the final solution. But we kind of have to back it up here because we're going to be diluting it and make it more concentrated so that basically what's coming out at the end of the hose is how we want it. So since we know it's getting diluted out, make one to a hundred, we've got to concentrate it by that much. And really what we do is we just simply have to calculate when this thousand liters gets diluted out and used, when we put that fertilizer in there, how much solution of the final fertilizer solution, the final liquid coming out here, is that going to be? And we make it, we make the concentration of the fertilizer accordingly. So when you see this issue of a stock tank, the first thing you do is, how big's the stock tank? What's the volume I'm dealing with? In this case, it's a thousand liters. What's the dilution ratio? Well, in this case, it's 1 to 100. We multiply those two. And that means, uh, because it gets diluted at that, so that means 1,000 liters of stock is going to eventually become 100,000 liters of the final fertilizer solution. So let's say that's our scenario. We have a 1,000 liter stock tank and a 1 to 100 injector ratio. And we have potassium nitrate as the fertilizer we're going to use. Again, most of these I'm working right now are just single fertilizers. Now, potassium nitrate can vary a little bit on its nitrogen uh, percentage, its weight, uh, concentration of nitrogen, because of how pure it may or may not be. And you can see um, nit uh, potassium nitrates that are 14%, 13.5%, 13.75%. Let's assume for our purposes, let's just say it's 14% nitrogen. And what we want, not in the stock tank, because remember, it's going to get diluted, but coming out of the end of the hose, if you will, or what we're putting to the plants, we want to supply that 100 part per million nitrogen. So let's work this. First thing we did was we figured out, as I did just a minute ago, that we have 1,000 liters in our stock tank. We're going to make a thousand liters of concentrate. We're going to dilute that out with a ratio of or an injector doing a 1 to 100. Therefore, we are making 
100,000, or we're preparing this to be 100,000 liters of final solution, providing 100 parts per million nitrogen to the crop using potassium nitrate. 100 ppm nitrogen is 100 milligrams of nitrogen per liter. Divide that as before by the 0.14. I'm not putting those units down now again. We've done that a few times. Uh, that would give you 714 milligrams of KNO3 per liter. Let's divide this by 1,000 to get it down to grams, or we're going to be getting a big number uh, here. That's the same thing as 0.714 grams of KNO3 per liter. And we have the 100,000 liters, as we've done before. They cancel out, and we come away with 71429, 71,000 grams of KNO3 going into that stock tank or 71 kilograms. So 71 kilograms of potassium nitrate into that stock tank. Bring that up to 1,000 liters. Run it through a 1 to 100 injector. And what's coming out of the end of that hose, or however we're irrigating, would be a solution that would contain 100 parts per million nitrogen. So again, don't let this stock tank injector thing confuse you. All you do is you look at the stock tank volume, how much you're making up, not the volume, because you may not fill the stock tank, whatever the volume of concentrate you're going to make are, times that injection ratio, which would give you the final total amount of fertilizer solution that it's going to turn into at the, at the correct concentration. And you use that as your volume, just like we did in all those previous concentrations. So do that. And then work your way through these calculations just as we did before. If the stock tank were in gallons, you would just multiply the gallons. Let's say it were 1,000 gallons. 1,000 times 100, but it would be 100,000 gallons. And you'd multiply that by the 3.79 to convert it over to liters in order to be able to work your way through these calculations. So don't let these little steps confuse you. They're really not that difficult if you take one little piece at a time.